Good morning and welcome back. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend around Helena. Sun is out shining temperatures 54 degrees, comfortable temperatures, light winds for around the state. And here's a look at the Doppler network. Not a lot going on. We did have a system that was in southeast Montana that's going to continue to track eastward before the temperatures in the 50s. Some areas in the 60s for Miles City, 61 Baker as well. 61 degrees. Not a bad morning to get up for a morning jog and for us a cup of coffee. But today the sun will be accompanied by some thunderstorms. Let's look at for today. So the area shaded in yellow is a marginal risk for thunderstorms. And as that system tracks southeastward, it will intensify. It can produce small hail, lightning, gusty winds, and also localized flooding. Here's a look at today's high temperatures in the 80s for most areas for Lewistown, 73 degrees. And for our friends in West Yellowstone, 75 degrees. For today, we're going to have more sun in the beginning of the day. The early birds get the sun. As we get into the afternoon, a system will develop develop towards central Montana and will track eastward as that system track eastward. It will intensify. We'll have gusty winds in eastern Montana. You can see stronger cells as it leaves and moves towards the Dakotas. For Monday night, that system will clear. We'll have dry and clear conditions for the overnight hours. But for tomorrow, unfortunately, we'll have another round of thunderstorms, and these thunderstorms will become severe in some areas. So we do have the area shading in yellow is a marginal risk. The area shading in orange is a slight risk, which means scattered to isol scattered to severe thunderstorms is possible. Now this system can produce large hail. The winds will howl all across the state, especially north central Montana and it will track eastward. We'll have gusty winds as I just mentioned and also frequent lightning. Here's a look for tomorrow. We'll have some sunshine and we'll also have some isolated thunderstorms towards north central Montana. Great Falls will have gusty winds areas along the high line for tomorrow afternoon. As we get into the evening, that system will intensify towards northeast Montana. If you're in Glasgow and towards Jordan, Glendive, you may want to put your patio furniture up. And remember, when thunder roars, it's good to go indoors. That system will move towards the Dakotas. Wednesday, we'll have a little bit more clearing, but let's look at the winds for tomorrow. We'll have slightly gusty winds for today. It's not going to be uncomfortable. Tomorrow afternoon, slightly gusty winds. As that cold front passes through, that wind will intensify in northeast Montana where that slight risk for isolated thunderstorm reside. Tomorrow temperatures will cool to the 70s northwest Montana portions and the upper 60s windy conditions as this cold front passes tomorrow. The, the temperatures will slightly drop before this weekend. As I promised, dry and sunny conditions. Here's a look tomorrow. Well, Wednesday, we'll have a high pressure, bring some mostly sunny skies to the state. Thursday, Friday, we'll have passing pop-up showers, not widespread showers. And as we get into Saturday, clear and dry conditions for Sunday as well. If you're just tuning in, here's a look at today's temperatures in the 80s. Tomorrow, still comfortable temperatures, but gusty winds. For Wednesday, temperatures cool to the 70s. This is going to be the coolest day of the week for um, the state. Thursday temperatures will warm back up to 81 degrees and here's a look at the seven day great falls slightly gusty winds today. The winds will howl across the state Tuesday and also Wednesday. So if you have any plans, you might want to get them done early today because we do have isolated thunderstorms for the afternoon hour. Back to you.